I'm back. I'm at Kensington Metro Park here in, I don't know what, in Milford, Michigan. I had to pay $10 to get into the Metro Park and it is, it is amazing. It's nice. I like it. It's a very big park. So I just got to find this nature center. I've got my bike on the back. As you can probably see, I'm going to go ride around. I'm going to take a film camera and maybe do a film review. But this is just I can't wait to see what they have. I mean, I've only been here so few times. So, I mean, why not? Why the heck not? Without further ado, I'm gonna get going. There's a biker in front of me and I really wanna go around him, so that's what I'm gonna do. I was unable to play the audio from this clip because Eric Clapton's Layla had been playing from the car's radio on my way in to the Nature Center at Kensington Metro Park in Michigan. On this beautiful afternoon, it was a Thursday, I loved it, I took the afternoon off of work and enjoyed myself. Alright, this is the Kodak Brownie camera. This camera was built in the early turn of the century, and it was built and mass produced, and they made millions of them, and I mean millions. The camera, unfortunately, has a light leak, and it's on the back. It is the little red window, so I am going to try and cover that up with some black electrical tape and hopefully that will remedy the issue is Ilford FP4 plus this is a nice film and it's a 125 it's, it's um ISO 125 uh, it's ISO 125 this film is probably a slower speed film would be good for this brownie box type camera as this camera is really really old but it has a slower shutter and if I used a higher 400 speed film, I feel like I'd overexpose it quite a bit. So that's the film I'm going to go with. Without further ado, I'm going to go get my bike off and we're going to go shoot some pictures. Given that that film window is a little, little worn out, I'm going to make a little door with this electrical tape because the electrical tape will help prevent the sunlight from entering the camera as I am taking the picture and it will prevent like having this harsh light come down on it so I'm gonna use that electrical tape and make like a little door on the back so kind of just like tuck it down and then I can still see what frame I'm on there we go kind of like that just keep it covered up you know it's an old camera what do you expect Loading this camera is actually not that hard. You simply just pull out this winding knob and slide it out. You should have the first spool, this spool here, and that's from the top. That is going to be transferred to the bottom half of the camera where your take-up spool is. And we're going to open up this Ilford, um, Ilford film, this FP4 film. That nice feeling of nice clean film. Let me come up closer. Just gonna wanna undo the roll a little bit so you can actually get the film off into the sun. And then we're gonna just hook it into these clips until it clicks into place. There we go. Wrap it around to the bottom. And what you wanna do with the bottom is you kinda wanna roll it up just a little bit because if you don't, then it might not grab. So you kinda, I think that's just an older feature about these cameras. You just wanna roll it up just a little bit and then we can take the back of the camera and close it. Sorry, my hair is getting in my way. So you got two latches, one there, one on the top. This is your viewfinder and then your lens. On the back, I'm going to wind it till we hit number one. And then number one, I'm ready to take this out there and go shoot here at Kensington Metro Park in Milford, Michigan. Got the one picture. Now I just gotta wind it to the next frame. Coral, like this is my hand right here. 
Look at the squirrel. Seed, seed, seed. Yes. Ooh, that tastes delicious. He's like less than. That's a legitimate a few feet from me. That view is wonderful. I love American tourists. I just took the first photo with the brownie. Hopefully I'm on frame two, so hopefully things come out nice. And I've got the Canon A1 with me to take some pictures as well. I did notice that there is poison ivy next to me. Not only that, there's one flaw that I hate Michigan for right now, and that's there is mosquitoes for days. Gosh, I'm just getting destroyed out here. Show the one. My legs are completely thrashed by mosquito bites. Mm. Thanks. Those are definitely not people. Stand by the cars. Just a chillin'. I'm gonna now head to another part of the park where I can get some more pictures of other things. So just to, just to be cool. So I had to throw in that music. It, it looked like total gangster life from me coming out and that was accidental. That was playing off my car radio. I took some pictures down by the water. Those people seemed a little amused at what I was doing. And then as I was coming back, I took some pictures of the car sitting up on the hill. Sadly, they did not come out because it was too dark. And then I got stopped by some Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't, don't stop, don't stop. Yeah, I'm sitting on the grass. Let's see. Looks like a nice spot to take a picture. That's what I'll do. Yeah. I'm leaving the park. I didn't realize it. I was enjoying myself a little too much by uh, having a little too much fun biking around on the trails. So it's, a, it's, a, it's about two hours since the last clip. I was biking around, I forgot to take pictures, and uh, I was enjoying the day. So it looks like I, I accidentally, um, I accidentally am leaving, so yeah. Looks like I'll finish the brownie camera in a little bit. So I mean, I'm going to push this off a little bit, uh, maybe I'll find some photos. I only took three, and I still got how many on my 36 roll? got 26 pictures out of 36 maybe I can find a place I don't know I'm just gonna explore some more I'm actually having a lot of fun just exploring I mean there's a lot here it's not it's very different from Pinkney recreational area but I mean I'm, I'm gonna see what there is I can always uh, I can always find different places but for right now I'm gonna go find somewhere maybe drive around and explore it's been a little while since I've uh, I filmed for this Kodak Brownie box camera just because I went on a trip and I ended up getting sidetracked. But this Brownie box camera, I'm about to take the last photo, taking the last photo that I have on this camera. And that's pretty much, I only had one photo left or two and I took one in the mirror. So I've got this box camera. I'm gonna take one picture of my car with it and hopefully develop it and see what comes out. Like all rolls of film I have, I have to have one picture of myself on it. I let the film for the Kodak Brownie, the, uh, the 1902 Brownie, is it now getting washed? I am going to hang it to dry and uh, get it scanned. Maybe take a look at some of the images. I mean, it looks like there's images and they actually came out really nice. This camera being from, as, from the early turn of the 19th century is amazing to me. And the fact that the images came out so nice really shows the quality of the camera and how it stood the test of time.